Hello and welcome to another review on cardeco.com. Now, if you're in the market for a luxury sedan, you're really spoiled for choice considering the barrage of options available out there. But the moment you start filtering those options, the list starts getting thinner and thinner, especially when you consider performance. Now, talking about Audi, they already have the RS6 and the RS7, which are mental performance machines that satisfy even the most ardent performance enthusiasts. But uh, what if you need something bonkers and still don't want to compromise on the practicality aspect? Well, that's where Audi's S line of cars come into the picture. And what we have here today is the all new Audi S5 Sportback. Now talking about design, the S5 could easily pass off as a scaled down A7. Of course uh, in this bright yellow shade it does stand out but we think it would look quite covert in any other uh, subtle colour. And Audi has also made sure that it's added a decent amount of spice to the design to make it stand out. Dimension wise, the S5 is practically identical to the Audi A4. In fact on first glance it may pass off as just another Audi especially from the front. Considering this car is from Audi's S range, you do have certain trademark elements in the design. The sharp headlamps with LED DRLs and the platinum finish on the grille with the tiny S5 badge give the S5 an intimidating face. Over to the side, you'd notice the subtle V6T badging on the fender and the brushed aluminium finish on the mirror caps. The not so subtle elements are of course those gorgeous 18 inch wheels. Look beyond them and you'd find S5 stamped on the brake caliper as well. The Sportback's coupe stance is evident thanks to the roofline that swoops down at the rear. Also announcing its sporty pretensions at the rear is that lip spoiler, the diffuser finished in matte silver and those lovely quad exhaust tips. Overall, the S5 is indeed a looker and does well to distinguish itself from the other run of the melodies. Now the interiors of the S5 are a nice place to be in. You get these nice sporty seats which hold you well in place. You get this optional Nappa leather, you get a flat bottom steering wheel and you get carbon fiber inserts as well. But this isn't supposed to be an all out sports car and it's supposed to be practical as well. So let's go check out the back seat. Now coming to the back, it's not as spacious as one would imagine. Uh, legroom is quite average and uh, there's lack of under thigh support as well and if you're over six feet tall headroom could be a problem as well the s5's interior seem quite familiar but you still get that seven inch screen for the infotainment that doubles up as the screen for a rear view camera and the navigation this is paired to a 14 speaker bang and olufsen system but that isn't the music you should be listening to let's see how it drives Now the S5 is powered by a 3 liter V6 petrol engine that puts out a very impressive 333 PS with the help of a supercharger. Now what those figures mean is that this Audi can hit 100 km an hour in under 5.5 seconds. Transferring power to all the four wheels is a twin clutch S-Tronic uh, gearbox that goes up and down the gears quite quickly. Now talking about the practicality aspect again, the S5 also manages to give out a claimed 13 km per liter should you manage to keep that right foot in check. But those figures plummet very quickly the moment you want to hear that V6 sing.
ride and handling is a characteristic that can be changed on the fly in this Audi. You get to choose between efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic and individual modes uh, thanks to the Audi drive selector. You also get this uh, electro-mechanical steering that feels light in the city but builds up feel very nicely once the speeds get higher. If you plan on going on a comfortable cruise, the Eco or the Comfort mode are the ones to pick. The engine is relaxed, the throttle response dulls down for a fair bit and the steering becomes light and easy. The gearbox too will upshift as quickly as it can in a bid to be as frugal as possible. The only downside is that the ride becomes slightly bouncy at triple digit speeds. Other than that, these modes do just fine within the city and for a relaxed highway drive. Switch to dynamic mode and the Audi unleashes all of the 333 PS of power in one single surge. Gear shifts happen only at the 6,500 RPM redline and the quad exhausts bellow and scream their hearts out. The exhaust note is unbelievably addictive. In fact, we pin the throttle at times just to hear it sing. Auto mode is a nice balance between the two extremes. Depending on your driving style, the car sets itself up on the fly. Of course, if you want to take full control, you can use the individual mode to set it up as you please. Plush, practical and powerful. These three P's sum up the S5 Sportback perfectly. So if you need a luxury car that doubles up as a sports car as and when needed, and you have 62.95 lakhs to spare, this Audi makes a strong case for itself. This is Abhishek Nigam signing off. Hope you liked the review. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the Car Deco channel.